What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and some more Planet Zoo. We are here in the mountains of, oh, I don't know, wherever our zoo is located. We are doing Silverwood Zoo today and just in time for the North American Animal Pack to come out for Planet Zoo. That's what we're going to be working on today. We are going to be working on a exhibit for one of the new animals. And I did just want to kind of go in here before we actually get started working on the construction of that. I want to kind of show you what I've been up to. And that is, I have been building a mountain. I, I have made a mountain out of a molehill. Anybody who's ever worked in Planet Zoo and you've tried to do a lot of terrain work and stuff, like really heavy terrain work like what I've done here, you know how hard this was. Thank God for the mod that actually increases the size of the terrain tool as well as how much the intensity is on it, up to 200%. That has been a lifesaver to get this done. Would have been great if it actually gotten early access to 1.17 in the North American pack. That way I could have had the tool and, and just done a terrain map. And, and that would have been a whole lot easier. But I didn't I didn't get early access. So this this is basically yeah, I had to do this all by hand. It it took a lot of time. It yeah, a lot of time. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so you are seeing the very beginnings here of the zoo. In the first episode of Silverwood Zoo, we worked on the actual entrance here, which I have expanded out a little bit and kind of changed up a couple of things. So we still have everything pretty much as I done it last time. We've got the little pool of water here with the, uh, the windmill. And this is based, of course, off Silver Dollar City's entrance. Um, but I've also added another entrance and stuff over here too. The idea is this, I think this is going to be a gift shop that you come out of over here. And then we have the awesome little sign that I made there and then we have the entrance to the zoo over here you can buy your tickets here if you didn't get them and then I've got this over here so I kind of went back and I did the same thing I made these little pillars out of by using the these stone blocks I went over here and I did the same thing to make a kind of a foundation for this little ticket building here that was the idea of that so anyway I just kind of wanted to show off what we were working on before we start construction on the habitat uh, this over here is going to be a parking lot, so you don't have to take a sky lift up. When, yeah, I know, there's no sky lift, so what are you talking about, sky lift, Shadow? Well, it's, there will be. Imagine in your head there's a sky lift here with a cool building right here where it goes into. Imagine that. All right, then we have a plaza. But if you don't feel like taking the chair lift up, you can always kind of drive up uh, the mountains. And the couple of things kind of influenced the thoughts on this zoo. One of them is uh, Ghost Town in the Sky, the amusement park that's up on a mountain. And the other one is Ober Gatlinburg, which is, of course, in Gatlinburg. It's up on top of the mountain. Uh, both of those had influence over this, as well as, well, Silverwood, my, my theme park I'm working on. And, of course, they're both in the same town. And they asked the mayor of said town, they said, why is it that you like to put all your tourist attractions up on top of mountains? And he said, well, I guess we just like to get high. And with that, let's go ahead and get started on our habitat. Now, before we actually jump into doing the time lapse and everything and doing the construction, I want to talk a little bit about the inspiration behind what I'm about to do. I wanted our first habitat of the zoo to be right there as soon as you enter, and I wanted it to be kind of right in the center plaza and everything. And I got a huge amount of inspiration from a little zoo called Prospect Park in Brooklyn. They have, as soon as you enter the park, they've got this really cool sea lion exhibit like right there in the main plaza and as you can see this thing's really really cool so the first part of this was trying to figure out how am i going to recreate this mostly in planet zoo i also want to add that before i even knew anything about the north american pack and that we were going to actually get sea lions i had already pretty much had this in mind this is what i wanted to do for this zoo i was actually going to use penguins instead as the center exhibit but since we're actually getting sea lions in the new DLC, it just added up perfect. So I had to basically kind of figure out how I could actually recreate this and make it work. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, dig out a little bit of area here. Now, I know that I can use a one meter piece here, and that would pretty much tell me about how far down I can dig if we're like just a couple of steps down. And I'm using a little trick that I learned in Planet Coaster on how to use the path and make a perfect circle with the path. Um, so you just basically have to figure out your dimensions. And I do want to say that I already had messed around with this quite a bit so that I knew exactly what dimensions and stuff and what 
estimates what numbers I would have to put in the settings in order to get the size of the circle that I needed. Um, the terrain tools are quite a bit different and stuff than what they are in Planet Coaster. So it, it has been a bit of a growing pain working within Planet Zoo, uh, being a mostly a Planet Coaster guy. So once you once I pretty much had figured out the settings and stuff that I needed, though, uh, after that, it was just pretty much a breeze. Uh, originally, I was planning on I was going to do the habitat and then just kind of move the habitat into the circle. But that doesn't work because of the way that Planet Zoo works. You can't have a path near a habitat like if you're trying to put the habitat down like a blueprint habitat you it's very tricky because you can't just place it down near a path because it wants to if there's any terrain adjustment it needs to do it won't do it so i had to build the path first and then build the habitat inside of that so that's what you're basically seeing here and the reason I made this kind of circle using the, like a circular platform there, using the um, roof pieces. Yeah, I guess these are roof or floor pieces. Uh, I would say they're flagstone. I would say they're probably floor pieces, uh, which are these flagstone pieces you're seeing me use are actually part of a mod that I'm using. Uh, I believe that's the Safari pack. I think that's it. I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, I, I've got a couple of the packs and stuff that were made by some of the modders. But uh, the reason I am doing that is so that I can get an idea of the size and stuff that I need. And I knew that I knew for a fact that I needed it to be 13 squares across. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first thing I'm going to do, as you saw, is I put down the door to the habitat and then a couple of walls on each side. And then I just basically kind of trace the outline of this right here and then raise the walls up because since this is going to be a sea lion habitat I want the water to be somewhat deep because I do want to see them deep dive and stuff I want to have some fun with that um, now for the next section here that you're watching me do this I need to create kind of an outline a, a section between the actual habitat and the actual path so I'm using some mulch here to kind of, I'm trying to do my best to kind of put it at a bit of an angle there with the mulch so that it actually looks like it's going downward a little bit. And then I'm also going to put in a fence around the outside as well. And this worked out really, really well as you're about to see. And then of course, I also wanted to make the wall that goes around to cover the actual habitat walls that I'm using, the, the barrier walls. I don't really like the barrier walls because they're not exactly perfect, uh, but by using these walls here that I'm about to create a circle for, it actually looks pretty solid. So now once I have pretty much my, my template down, I'm going to take that and put it on all four sides of this circle. And yes, I know there's like more than four sides here, there's like eight, but uh, we're only going to use like four sides of this cross basically. And we're going to take these and I'm going to take out all of the pieces except for the center piece. Now some of you are probably saying, well, you probably could have took out the center piece too and it would have made a perfect circle as well. You could have rotated that around. Actually, no. It, for some odd reason, it doesn't work that way. I had to have the center piece in the middle and be able to rotate it perfectly. And as you can see here, now we're going to take what we have and we're going to start rotating it around and boom. Now we have a perfect circle habitat which is great now we have a tank for our sea lions and stuff here uh, i'm just going to delete these middle pieces now which uh, we'll just jump past that all right and we're just going to test out the water there to kind of see where i want the height to be and i'm pretty happy with it pretty much right up to the thing now we're just going to adjust the land here a little bit around this now some of you out there are probably thinking you know you put a whole lot of work into something that looks pretty easy it this actually wasn't easy i spent a lot of time just trying to get the dimensions and stuff right and trying to figure out how i was actually going to be able to like make this little plaza and everything kind of work right and you know that way the the guests and stuff could do it also as well as you know i needed the keepers and stuff to go into it too the actual habitat at prospect zoo has a pit that surrounds it with the tank in the middle and i was kind of hoping to be able to do that but there was really just no way to do it that i could figure out 
and have a habitat door in there too. Because originally what I was kind of thinking was maybe have like the door coming into the exhibit kind of uh, downward underneath the main path, like down underneath of everything. So that you would, and then they would use stairs or something to come up into the actual habitat. That's originally what I was kind of thinking. However, due to the limitations of Planet Zoo, I couldn't actually do that. So I had to drop the idea of using the pit around the outside of the, the actual habitat. And instead, I just decided, you know what, we'll just put some mulch around it, cover it up. That'll be perfect. And there we have it. So as you can see. Uh, doing the rock work now, um, so as you can tell from the original influence of this at Prospect Park, it has like this little outcropping, a little rock area, and typically what would happen here is the feeders and trainers and stuff for the sea lions would come out, and then they would feed the sea lions, and it's a whole show. Um, if you want to watch this, just look up uh, Prospect Park Sea Lions on YouTube, and watching these guys play and everything and as they're watching you know do tricks and stuff to get their food is it's so fun to actually watch the sea lions and stuff i i watched it a couple of times uh i even showed my girlfriend and she'd be like oh that's so cute and <laughs> so i really wish we could actually get something like that something where we could actually get shows and stuff and i'm pretty sure it doesn't work but i am going to see i think i've already tried it actually I was going to see if I can get to put a talking point inside of a habitat and see if that would work. Um, I may give it another shot later on because I I tried it once, but it wasn't exactly, it, it definitely wasn't working, but I was doing some stuff wrong. So um, I'm going to try later to see if maybe I can put like a path into the exhibit and, and maybe see if I can put a talking point there. Maybe I can make it look like, uh, you know, somebody's actually coming in and, and doing a show with the sea lions. I, I really don't know. It's definitely worth a shot though. I'm going to try it and uh, I'm pretty sure it won't work though. <laughs> but if it does, that'd be really cool. Um, it, it won't be the first time I've made something really cool and uh, actually work inside this game, uh, such as figuring out how to uh, make a walk-in exhibit without the door. So I did that in Riverside Zoo with my peacocks. And I was quite proud of myself with that one because nobody else had done that that I had seen. I was, I'm pretty sure I was like one of the first people to do that. And I thought it was really neat. Um, and I don't feel like I get enough credit for that. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm just kind of outlining the habitat here with some rocks and making it kind of look right. I don't like the idea of having the exhibit door uh, like right there next to the path and everything and I, I'm not a big fan of uh, Having this all outcropping and all this rock stuff and stuff like kind of right there kind of catty cornered in it, but it's if, if you actually look at the photos and stuff at Prospect Park, it, it's exactly the way it is there now my pool for my sea lions is quite a bit bigger than what Prospect Parks is. And I figured I wanted to do like a really deep pool and I wanted to give them a lot of space and stuff to swim in because we're going to put quite a few sea lions in here, I'm thinking. So in order to kind of balance that out, I decided let's take uh, some of the rocks here and just kind of make a couple of like little pads kind of off to the side there, which I really think uh, that that was perfection on that. So. Now at this point, there was no way I was going to be able to use the perfect circle trick right here and be able to get it just right because it's really hard. Once you have one down, it's really hard to get another one to work around with it. So I pretty much just had to eyeball this to get another circle to go around it. And that is on the raised area there. So keep in mind that there the, the first circle and the habitat is actually lower than the rest of the park here. So. This is something I actually really enjoy doing. I, I did a lot with Silverwood Theme Park and Planet Coaster. And I even played around a lot with this in Riverside Zoo as well. Because I love messing around with different variations, different terrain levels. And playing around with things like that and seeing what I'm able to do. Planet Zoo actually makes it a whole lot easier once they added... I, I don't even remember what update it was that they did it. But they changed up how paths work. So you can actually go in and change the the uh, like how far the elevation is like when you're doing step ups 
and stuff like that. It, it's really cool and it works out really well when you figure out how to use it. So once we were able to go around and get the steps up, uh, I, as you can see here, the plaza is actually coming together quite nicely now. We'll take a couple of beech trees and kind of form the rest of the center square here. And yeah, I mean, as you can see, this is really coming together quite well. One of the last things, of course, we need to do is connect it to the actual entrance of our zoo. And I'm using the path mods no obstructions i think it's what it's called mod um which lets me put i put paths together and make like huge plazas and stuff and for here i just kind of use it just gently just to kind of mess around with that all right guys construction is now complete of the habitat and we are back in a live play mode now and one of the first things i want to show off here is we are out we are basically outside of the gates of the zoo and you can see this huge plaza that i've got laid out here with asphalt and this is thank you to the no obstruction mod, which is what I've been calling it, but it's actually called the free build mod. It gives you expanded building. It basically gives you the ability to do this with the pass. So you can crisscross pass with each other. There's no obstructions at all. And it also lets you take building pieces and take them off grid, which is really, really nice. So I, I've been using it in the last couple of videos and I'm loving it so far. So I want to get a huge, like just look over here at this, uh, this awesome sign. I love that sign so much, but it came out so well. So we are also using another mod right now at the moment called, uh, it's the first person view mod, which lets me get like really down in here without using Tejid Cam, which is quite nice. This is much better than Tejid Cam. Everybody's always told me in Planet Coaster I should use Tejid Cam, and I've just never really liked it. I just, I didn't. Um, and it's basically because of the speed and stuff. But here in Planet Zoo, this mod actually works quite well for what I want to do. So we're going to step into the zoo here and take a look at the habitat we have built here. Now again, this is going to be the sea lion habitat. Tomorrow, once the DLC comes out, we will have the sea lions here in this zoo. I will probably do another updated video uh, just kind of showcasing those guys off just real quick. But for now, uh, I went ahead and put penguins in here. Now, I was going to use the seals, since the seals are closer to the sea lions than what the penguins are, but the seals really don't like these rocks. They would not walk across those rocks at all, no matter how flat those rocks were. It just, I was like looking at them and then looking at the, the map on, on like the traversal map, and they will not travel over top of those rocks. These faux rocks, they, they just hate them so much. I'm pretty sure that's the same problem I had in Riverside as well with the seals when I first built that seal enclosure. I think these rocks just have too big of a hitbox for the seals. Hopefully the sea lions are not the same way, but I have a feeling they're gonna be. At least the sea lions can actually like jump around and move though, thanks to their flippers. But yeah, the seals are just basically big, you know, wobble around guys. So anyway, I was going to use the, uh, the pink ones anyway before I even found out that we were actually going to get sea lions and I just decided to throw this, this the pink ones in here just just for the heck of it just to kind of show this off and I really love how this looks now I did go ahead and build uh, some like an animal trade center and stuff back there which is probably where they're gonna go anyway that's just temporary back there and yes I know I have floating trees all of that will be fixed in a later episode but you know I just really kind of wanted to come in here and just kind of showcase this habitat just a little bit before we head out because I'm really happy with this like once I get down in here and actually do some work around where the edges are right where the stairs and stuff are and do all that this is going to look absolutely amazing I've also surrounded it with trees and stuff too just to kind of enclose it a little bit um, that's all going to change eventually as well so but for now this is what we have and I really love it. And I can't wait to get the sea lions and try them out. We're also probably going to put another habitat in here for the next video as well. Um, I don't know which one it's gonna be yet, but it's gonna be one of the smaller animals. I, I may use beavers, maybe beavers, because I really wanna use some more animals out of that North American pack. So that's probably what we're gonna do. So look for another video here real soon. If not tomorrow, uh, I may do two videos tomorrow. Um, but yeah, if not tomorrow, then the next day with the uh, the beavers and stuff. So 
All right, that's gonna do it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am gonna head out of here wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that button down below and the bell to be notified of when my next videos are. I'm out. Laters.